Americans, what is something that Europeans have do that makes no sense to you? TIL most of the Europeans here are either UK or Germans. IDK if it's all Europeans, but Germans have a real big problem with staring like I owe them money. Also paying to use the bathroom in public spaces. It's not that it makes no sense but I've always been curious how carbonated water became the default in many places. No AC, sure fine, but then no screens on your windows so all the bugs get in. Not sure if this is all of Europe, but def the UK. Also no top sheets? My British grandma always had a plastic tub in the sink to soak dishes. It seems so weird to have a sink in a sink basically. The smoking. I stayed with a host family in France and my 16-year-old host sister smoked like a chimney, as did all her friends. Like you're so young. Why? The poop shelf in Dutch Belgian toilets. To all you Italians why can't I have a cappuccino past noon? I'm from the Midwest and my family is from the Netherlands. So the society that wouldn't dare offend you in any way and the society that has no problem dropping truth bombs on you. It's rough. I'm Canadian, but it's always baffled me that some Europeans consider a half hour's worth of driving a long time. That wouldn't even get me out of the area I'd consider local. Charging for bathrooms and charging for water at restaurants are both things that I would have expected Americans to do and Europeans be the ones making fun of it. I'm from Europe myself UK and find it strange some people here have carpet in their bathroom. It's disgusting. England's fascination with large print flowered wallpaper with various colors that don't go together especially when you stand in the hallway and see where all the rooms converge. Saw that mostly in the UK, having two separate faucets for hot and cold water? What the hell lol. Washing my hands was the worst. It makes sense to me, but it still seems marvelous to me that in France other places I'm sure, but I learned this in French class it is common to buy groceries every day. You may wake up and go to the bakery for fresh baked bread, or stop by for fresh produce on the way home to make dinner. Yes, having walkable grocery stores nearby makes it easier, it seems so much easier to buy 3-4 days or a week's worth of groceries at a time. What's with the constant invading of Poland? Why you guys like to put bathroom light switches outside the bathroom? Invading my personal space. Especially when standing in a line. I don't understand cricket and at this point I'm afraid to ask. Another BuzzFeed article coming about this? Washer and dryer in the kitchen. Rent their whole lives. I saw this in Germany. I know it's becoming the norm in the US, too, but it just seemed weird to me the first time I visited 30 years ago that most Germans rented their entire lives, and never even thought about buying a house. Solid month of vacation in the summer. Smoke was just in southern Italy and it was hot as balls but everybody acted like they hate AC. We'd go out for the day and when we came back, housekeeping had turned off all the AC units. Driver wore a full suit but every time we got in the car, AC was off. We'd ask him to turn it on and he would put on low. Ask him to blast it and he would for a minute then sneakily turn it back down. It's like they're reptiles or something. The amount of young people that smoke. You are typically much healthier than the average American but you almost bring your health down to our level by being such heavy smokers. Cigarettes are really going out of style here in the States. Of course, we are getting more and more morbidly obese each year so we can't judge too hard but if you Europeans smoked at the same rate we did, you all would be insanely healthy and make us look even worse ha ha. Calling the second floor the first floor. Edit I think I figured it out in a comment below. It's more of a language thing than a numbers thing, that's why it's kind of infuriating lol. Like metric psi versus imperial, it feels like words be damned, numbers should be understandable between all of us. After all, this is a naming system and not a mathematical equation. Mathematics is a language that transcends spoken language. Lack of public restrooms. 
You all give us so much grief for having bathroom stall door gaps, and then have a one foot wide piece of glass to keep water in the shower. Leaving the windows wide open in the summer. I get that you might not have AC, but you need a damn window screen. You're letting all the bugs in like that. Those knee length Capri jeans for men. Like, what are they? Long tight shorts? Europeans just get their tax bill sent to them? Why would they eliminate a billion-dollar industry of bureaucracy that purely exists to permit the rich to evade taxes, while forcing the poor to pay the maximum? They also just don't have annual anxiety they calculated their owed taxes wrong resulting in severe prison time? What the hell? Why the hell don't you guys just serve tap water if it's okay to drink to tables when they sit down? I'm currently in Europe and a handful of restaurants will not even serve you tap water and you have to buy it. This is in many countries too WTF it's free and right there. Do any Europeans have a clothes dryer? Why do I think that's not standard? I heard that when you get sick or injured you can go to a place where they help you and you don't even need to be rich to go there. Brits, your sinks with two separate faucets are inferior and dumb. Filling the wash basin to wash is gross. I don't know if any of you actually like your sinks either, though. Edit I'm glad they're disappearing now if us Americans can increase our trend of installing bidets. Better chocolate. Why can't we have nice chocolate? In Paris, when you rent an apartment, it doesn't come with major appliances. Refrigerator, cooktop. Bring your own and take it with you when you leave. When it comes to societal norms I typically think Europeans are a bit further ahead than Americans but there is one thing, I think Americans nipped in the bud, and that's cigarettes. It's crazy to me how popular cigarettes still are in Europe granted vaping is big in the US, but seeing a person under 35 smoking a cigarette in the US is borderline shocking at this point. They don't have any space between the bathroom door and wall how am I supposed to watch Europeans poop in public spaces? WTF is up with gravy and peas on fries? I was just in Amsterdam and I'm always shocked by the amount of cafes that only serve booze and no food. Using the three seashells. Europeans seem pretty content with their position in life and seem to accept that people won't change their class status. Maybe that's just who I have met though. Charging for bathrooms. Monarchies. Maybe I am misunderstanding how it works, but the fact that you need a key to leave your apartment. And people can be locked inside if they don't have a key. This applies not only to individual apartments but the building lobby in some cases. It's so wild to me and such a huge fire hazard. Edit this may be specific to France. Making me the US ambassador when I visit. You don't tip everybody for everything. Like you actually pay people appropriately. The weed smokers in Europe only smoke if there's also tobacco in their joints and they look at you like you're insane if you want a pure joint. Like why both? Went to Scotland recently and was baffled by the weird half-shower doors that swung outward. Water got everywhere even if it was closed. And the no AC but no screens on the windows. So, you get no airflow unless you want midges. And no one wants midges. And no clothes dryers and also no line to hang them on. And if there was one, it was raining out. Couldn't do laundry the entire time I was there. I had to wash some clothes in the shower and then crank up the heat in the summer and hang them on the radiators to get them dry. WTF is with the stairs in Dutch houses? So steep that you could break your neck in a fall. I get that land is at a premium and you have to build tall but how many old people and small children have died? Your obsession with our politics. When traveling in Europe, the second someone figures out I'm American they start asking me what I think of the president or chastising me for how shitty our country is.